Welcome back. I hope you are doing great. As a part of this lecture, we'll understand transactional and analytical processing. Let us take a example here. We have a company. With it, it company, there are two team members working. One of the team member being Vivek, another one being Monica. Vivek is in order management support. On the other hand, Monica is a data analyst. Being in the order management support, Vivek is responsible for tracking and delivering the orders. Monica is responsible for tracking and monitoring revenues. What happens is Vivek is in a order management support. None of the working day, he receives a call. 10 deliveries in Bangalore are delayed. He immediately calls and does some analysis and finds out why is that all these orders are delayed. He finds out that courier company through which the orders need to be delivered had a computer outage. So what he does is he immediately assigns the orders to another courier company in the region and routes all these 10 orders through other courier company and he ensures that those orders are delivered. He faces one more situation. Five of the customers want to ship orders to a different addresses in the regions managed by him. Again, our Vivek will go and updates the addresses on the shipments and he reroutes them. Monica is a data analyst. On one of the day, Monica's manager wants an update on what are the revenues of the last month. What Monica does is she will get into a system and starts analyzing. But she finds out for some reason last month revenues are unusually slow. There is a dip in the revenues. What she does is she pulls out the data for last five years and sees in this particular month was there any seasonal effect in the previous five years as well. She analyzes that she submits the reports to her manager. On the other occasion, Monica's manager asks her, can you find out whether the TV ads we have run last year were successful or not? What she does is she checks how many customers have signed up or if there is any jump in the number of signups when the campaigns were run. She analyzes it and she submits the report to her manager. We have seen four situations here. Two are managed by Vivek. Another two are handled by Monica. Is there any difference between situations handled by Vivek and tasks handled by Monica? Yes, there is a difference. Situations handled by Vivek are of a transactional nature. Tasks handled by Monica are of an analytical nature. Day in and out, in the current scenario, any company would face both transactional scenarios and analytical scenarios. That is the reason it's very important to know how the transactional processing differs from analytical process. We'll try to understand the differences between transactional processing and analytical processing. Transactional processing analyzes the individual entries. If you remember, Vivek handled not more than 10 records per time. If you speak in terms of records in database, he at the most updated around 10 records. 
on the other hand monica analyzed last 5 years data isn't it she analyzed last 5 years data in the analytical processing we analyze large batches of the data in transactional processing we access the recent data maybe from last few hours or days on the other hand in analytical processing we access the data which is older maybe in months or even years in transactional processing we usually take care of updating the data also as you know in the first example vivek updated the courier company through which the order need to be routed in the second case he updated the address for rerouting the orders on the other hand mostly in analytical processing we read the data rather than updates if you see monica analyzed the data of last five years in the first case and analyzed the data for couple of months whether the sign ups have happened or not when the tv ads were run here in case of transactional data there is a real time access but on the other hand in analytical processing we have long running jobs because the amount of data we are handling in analytical processing is more that is the reason to fetch the data to analyze the data we would have long running jobs usually in case of transactional processing we would have a single data source on the other hand in analytical processing we would have multiple data sources for example to check why the revenues were low in the current month she had to check data from previous years from the multiple systems i hope you understand how transactional processing is different from analytical processing now having understood what is a transactional and analytical processing we know that the objective of a transactional processing is different from objective of a analytical processing now if you are managing the small amount of data both of these objectives can be achieved through the same database system because the amount of data we are handling is less for a small data we'll have a single machine with a backup mostly we would have a structured or well defined data and also we usually access the individual records and we would have not done any replication and we'll have mostly data available instantaneously in the small amount of data usually different tables would store the data from different sources on the other hand when we have huge amount of data it's very difficult to meet all these requirements with the same data system when i say all the requirements the requirements of the transactional processing and analytical processing cannot be achieved with the same database system in case of big data why is that because data is distributed on a cluster with a multiple machines along with the structured data we'll have semi structured data and unstructured data also stored as a part of the big data we'll not be able to access data randomly data is replicated as we have already seen in case of hdfs data is replicated three times when the data is replicated whatever the update you are making propagation of that would definitely take time different sources may have different unknown formats we are not talking about only one source here we are talking about multiple source multiple formats because different sources are there it may have many unknown formats which are not known the same infrastructure definitely cannot support both transactional and analytical processing in case of big data so for a transactional processing we would have a traditional rdbms for 
analytical processing we have system called data warehouses wonderful we understood what is transactional processing what is analytical processing in the end we understood that usually transactional processing is supported by relational database management systems and analytical processing is supported by data warehouses thank you you have a wonderful time mm -hmm.